So it's the start of December. I've just come back from a weekend in London, which was really, really good. Needed it. And as anybody that watched the vlog last month, I wasn't really in a very good way towards the end of the month. Just let a lot of things get on top of me. A lot of stress. Some things going wrong, but me putting too much blame on myself as per. So yeah gone away and I was kind of dreading coming home because I was like oh back to like reality but I've had a few words of myself today and realized that um I need to look after myself a bit more and just I don't know I suppose ask myself why a little bit around like why am I doing the business what do I want out of it and really one of the reasons why I did it initially was for more of a life to be happier. I don't know whether I'm getting that at the moment because I'm working too much. I'm doing what I used to do. I think what I'm going to do after Christmas is go down to four days a week. That way, I, you know, I am getting... If, even if I work long hours the other days, I'm getting three days off. I've come down the beach. I'm trying to do 10,000 steps a day at the moment. I've got a nice cup of jasmine green tea. I like coming down here in the evenings because it's a bit quieter. I'm going to go home, eat well get a really good night's sleep because I did not sleep much at the weekend and smash out this week and just start living in the fucking present more because I know this I've got the fucking word tattooed on me for god's sake but I've been very much living in the future for the last couple of weeks worrying and worrying and making myself so upset over it it's got to stop so yeah that's the start of the week start of December and according to my horoscope it's going to be a good month so we'll see what happens started reading a new book Brene Brown was recommended to me I've read one of her books and it's bloody brilliant and this is one one that she has lots of quotes in her book and this is one of them and I read it and I just thought if this doesn't summarize having a business I don't know what does and I need to bloody remember this when I'm feeling shit like I was last week and the week before so true the truth is that falling hurts the dare is to keep being brave and feel your way back up. So bloody true. I'm feeling a real change in myself this week, which is really nice. I like decided today fully that I am definitely going to go to four days in the new year. And because I can always change it back if it doesn't work. Got some exciting news that I've been asked to speak at the Recruitment Agency Expo in London again. This year, at the time it's in March, it was in February last year. Or this year, which is huge because like loads, hundreds of people put their name forward. Well, I'm saying hundreds. I might be over exaggerating. In fact, wait there, let me get the numbers. Okay, I was right. Hundred and I think fifteen people applied, and there's only thirty four speaking slots. So I'm really fucking chuffed that I got a slot, and I feel like I'll do a much better job this year because I'm more confident speaker. So I'm really happy about that. It's made me feel really good. I'm going to bed with a real boost. I've had a really good day. It was really just myself open and honest with the guys I'm training. And, you know, I can see the difference it makes the connections I'm having. I'm loving my new book that I'm reading. I'm going to read a little bit now before I go to bed. Yeah, I'm just feeling more myself, more happy, content, relaxed. I think what I've realised is that I'm expecting too much of myself sometimes. Like, I have to get everything done all the time. And it's like, you're one person. You can't get everything done all the time. And some things will have to wait. And some things will take you longer. But if it means that you have more of a balance in life. And you have time to do the things you want to do. Then that's the way it's got to be. I'm not sacrificing my well-being anymore because I'm falling into the same trap I did in my old career and that's why I set the business up. Really going to spend some time reflecting over Christmas and make sure I go into the new year with some really positive transformational changes. So I'm out on a walk with my friend Joe. You can't see... Oh, that, was, that was really weird. It's really dark. We thought it'd be a good idea to walk down towards the beach, but there's no street lights, as you can probably see. I'm trying to get my 10k steps eight. in by eight o'clock at night, so I'm being good. I'm trying to. I'm making sure I'm not going to walk into anything as well. <laughs> as a small business owner, one of the things that makes me anyway, but I know from speaking to a lot of people, really anxious, worried, and it threatens the life of your business is people paying you late or not obviously not paying. I've had somebody not pay which is great but now I've got somebody another person paying late they've had reminders and I've been told it'll go in today I mean you get fobbed off a lot basically but they don't realize I think of it, they don't really care do they they don't care about the stress that it causes but I don't think they realize the impact it has on a really small business and I'm just getting so fed up of 
people just fucking me around like this. Especially when you go out of your way for them, like the client that's late paying me, I am literally, the whole project has been really difficult, loads of setbacks, nothing to do with me, but I've bent over backwards to get it done. You know, I'm really putting my heart and soul into it like I always do. And it's just like, just fucking pay me. I'm telling you now, they're not delaying the one in January either. I'm trying not to let myself get really anxious and panicky and worried like I normally would. I'm trying to kind of appreciate the feelings I'm having and let them be, but also not catastrophize and go crazy with them. But it's just another piece of shit I've got to deal with this morning when I've got other things that I could be doing. It is just extremely frustrating. So it's Sunday and I'm out for a lush walk down my local fields. Love it down here. One of my favourite spots to go walk in. And I thought I'd just do a little video vlog thingy because I'm feeling really good. Went out last night, had loads of fun with friends. Look at this beautiful weather. I've got so much to be grateful and thankful for. I'm just feeling really free and happy. I've been a little bit quiet on the old vlog front this month, um, so I thought I'd give a quick update. Finally got a payment from one client, which has helped one client, which has helped me breathe a little bit. I'm being much better with like the work-life balance and little things like my inbox that like, you don't have to reply to things straight away. It's about prioritising, and you know you sometimes can't reply to somebody the same day like it doesn't work like that and not putting that pressure on myself when I'm working from home I've been getting up later starting at eight which is like really helped just having an extra hour in bed I'm just really looking forward to having the break over Christmas to really think about you know where I want to take the business next year how I want to deliver training the services I provide I'm just finishing off a session now um, I'm doing a live event tomorrow on like helping consultants build their confidence. I've actually found it really enjoyable putting it together. I'm talking about something I'm passionate about. Finishing it a bit, a bit last minute, but um, time's just been shorter. But as long as I finish it by tomorrow, who cares? So I'll let you know how it goes. I've had a really good week this week where I've been really taken on board this whole kind of kinder to myself stuff, realising I can't get everything done. I also found out, well, I found out last week actually, but I don't think I, I recorded a vlog about it, um, that I have been chosen to speak at the Recruitment Agency Expo in March, which I'm so buzzing about. I've got a really good slot, I'm on day one, and I, I when I spoke at it last, uh, sorry, earlier this year, it was really my first speaking slot and event, and I was very nervous, and I was okay, but I'm I'm so much better at it now. So I'm really excited about that. And I've had some people sign up for courses in January, got some work booked in for January, which is lovely to go into the new year with. Yeah, I've just I've just had a really good week. And I'm going into tomorrow with, I'm doing a free workshop in the morning. I've got a live with Bethan at midday. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to go and see my family in the afternoon. And then Friday, just a bit of prep for the, the coming week then. So... Yeah, I've got, you know, Christmas holidays coming up. Next week will probably be a little bit full on. I might have to work over the Christmas holidays because I've sold a course that I've not yet made. Typical me. But I don't mind doing a little bit here and there and it'll just be like, you know, going to Starbucks and doing a couple of hours work and going home. Which I will probably enjoy because I get bored over Christmas. Good week all in all. I'm going to go and get myself ready for bed and chill. God, I feel a little bit rough today. Start feeling like a bit... Um... Like I might have like a head cold or something come in, but I thought it might be run down earlier this week and me being me pushed through it, carried on going to the gym, blah, blah, blah. And I've woken up this morning and it's definitely hit me. So I've got, you can hear my voice, but a bit of a sore throat, head cold and my wisdom tooth is killing me. So I'm going to dose up today. I only work until 12 anyway. And then I'm going to try and have a really relaxing weekend. I need it, like sleep. I'm going to cook something like a chicken stew tonight, I think dose up hopefully be all right for my last week before Christmas next week but I've had a really really good week this week just so many good things have happened that I'm grateful for it just has made me see there's so many things around the corner that um you least expect and you, you well you don't know what's around the corner and I think with a business sorry I'm just opening my blinds you really can't predict what's going to happen so I need I've realized that these little breakdowns that I have 
not that they're not justified because they are it is stressful but like there's really no need to worry myself for too long because it always ends up being okay i'm really excited for next year i feel like it's going to be a really good year with lots of opportunities and i'm determined to change the way i work as well so i'm finishing the week feeling a little bit rough but also very grateful and content i'm super excited today it's saturday i'm meeting my friend patricia who I think I've mentioned in my last vlog. Can't remember now. We're going to have a spiritualist and tarot reading in Cardiff and then have some lunch and I'm going to try and do a bit of shopping as well. I'm super excited. I love doing stuff like this. And I'm just really intrigued to see what comes up in my reading. So I will let you know after. So it is Tuesday. It's my last week working before the Christmas break. I'm having a bit of a battle this week between keeping this better work-life balance thing but also wanting to get as much as I can done so I can have more of a break over Christmas because I do have some work to do over the Christmas holidays unfortunately like training prep stuff which I is actually quite enjoyable for me when I'm not under pressure so it will be fun when I do it but um obviously it's not ideal I could have done with a proper break but this week like there's some stuff I really need to get done and squeeze in. But then on the other hand, I'm like, oh God, can it just wait? It's difficult, isn't it? I think I've made a vow to myself though, and let's see if I am accountable. Next year, Christmas holidays, I am not working. No chance. Oh, and I never told you, um, the tarot reading, the spiritual reading I had was amazing. Like the stuff she knew was insane. And it's made me really excited about stuff to come. And just knowing that Everything I've been going through, all the challenges have been for a reason and that I'm on the right track. So yeah, it was absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness, I am so glad to be back at home. I've got a day and a half left into my Christmas holidays. The last two days going into Cardiff, Jesus Christ, the traffic has been insane. It took me in nearly two hours to get home yesterday. Today I thought I'd take something back in Cardiff after I finished coaching. The queues for the car parks were insane. I've had traffic getting back to Bridgend. Oh my God, I just literally want to hide away in my office, not speak to anybody and just get some really important work done. The less I've got to do over Christmas, the better. So, oh my goodness me. It reminds me why, one of the reasons why I set this business up was to not have this commuting nine till five lifestyle. I'll come back to you on kind of the plans I'm thinking for next year, but I'm going to make some big changes, I think. Note to self, don't leave two months worth of expenses until today because I literally have only just started and I've got so much to do. In a sick way, I actually enjoy doing stuff like this, but I'm now on the hunt for loads of TFL receipts when I've been in London, you know, for like the tubes and stuff. So wish me luck. Oh, it's my last day. Oh, I'm actually feeling really festive and much better today. Yesterday I was feeling a bit stressed and a bit like fed up just because I had so much to do. But I'm like, do you know what? Like, I'll just get done what I can get done. So I am writing a new course as of this morning and I'm actually really excited to do it. I'm going to finish my accounts off this afternoon or try to. Realistically, I probably won't finish them, but I'll get as much done as I can. Mm -hmm. And then at 11.30, I'm going in to see a client for a little bit this morning, dropping a Christmas card. Then I'm meeting another client for lunch, which will be so nice. Got a Christmas card for her. Gym this afternoon, going to my sister to see the kids later. So it is quite a full on day, but fun things and things that I need to do to kind of unwind from the year as well. So yeah, I'm just really looking forward to having a lie in tomorrow. I'm definitely going to go on a nice walk. I haven't been outside much this week. I actually, actually am really excited to start writing this course. So the more I get done this morning, the less I've got to do over Christmas. So I'm going to start doing it. And relax. I finished for Christmas. Hey, so it's the Christmas holidays. I think it's the 28th today. You know what it's like between Christmas and New Year. You forget what bloody day it is. I had an amazing Christmas, really chilled. I have work, done a bit of work today and yesterday. Don't be mad. Um, <laughs> um, I'm just in a really creative space because I'm like caught up on sleep and I'm a bit more relaxed. I'm just writing a course at the moment, which I'm doing really quickly because I'm just loving it and I've got the creative space to do it. So... 
I've also been reflecting a lot on my why. I've realised I want more freedom with the business and I want more financial freedom, but also the freedom to like have more of a life. I think in the run up to Christmas, it became pretty obvious that the way I'm doing the business, it's great for my clients, but I'm not, I'm giving too much in terms of like my work life balance, I mean. So um, I was just having a little think then and I'm redoing how I price, how I deliver my training, what's included. And I'm really excited about it because I think it's going to be a lot better for my business and it's just going to work better because I'll do more remote which I think is the key to me having more freedom because I'm not so fi fixed on where I am and stuff. Feeling really good, feeling really excited about going into January now. I've started reflecting on these things and thinking about positive changes because there were just some things not working for me. I am going to do some more work over the next couple of days, but I've got other fun stuff to enjoy over the holidays. So going home now to have some lunch and a nice walk in the rain with one of my closest friends. So yeah, feeling really excited. Do you like my candle, guys? One of my friends bought me this for my birthday a couple of years ago. It actually smells really nice as well. I am in my office today. It is, what date is it? I'm not editing videos today, thank God. Um, it is, let's have a look, 29th of December. I've nearly finished this new course, so I'm gonna do a little run through of it this morning. And then I'm going to finish work and have a relaxing evening because it's the bloody Christmas holidays. So it's New Year's Eve and I am having a really chilled night tonight. I went out for a walk today in the rain. The weather's been miserable. I've just taken all my Christmas decorations down, which has felt really, really good. What else have I done? Just to reorganise the house a little bit and go over my sister's tonight for a curry. I haven't been bothered this Christmas to go out at all. Like, I literally have not been out once. I've been a bit of a hermit, really, but I'm going into the new year feeling really refreshed. It's actually my business birthday tomorrow. My business is two. I think reflection on December came out of a difficult November and I'm just going into the new year kind of being a bit more mindful of my balance work-life balance i've made some changes to like how i'm going to run the business got some exciting ideas up my sleeve so yeah i'm i'm finishing the year content calm rested and looking forward to getting started and to be honest i'm looking forward to getting back to work oh.